Marvel's Echo is upon us, and I say that as a person who until a couple of days ago knew literally zero about it, because I'm still punishing Marvel for making She-Hulk. But it does seem that some people have watched it, and the show is being received about as well as a Velociraptor in a field of sheep. Uh, the Rotten Tomatoes score is suspiciously okay, considering no one has anything nice to say about this show, and that's just the people who have anything at all to say about this show. So let's explore and see how we feel. Okay? Okay. Hello and welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. If you find you're enjoying this content at some point, then slap that like button for me. And remember, you can also subscribe to this channel if you'd like to help me out in the fight against this utter garbage that keeps getting released under the banners of things that we once loved. We're going to go to Cosmic Book News here, one of the only reliable comic book related sites that still exists. And their article here, Marvel's Echo Review dumpster fire of a series. First two episodes are decent enough, but the series takes a massive nosedive from there. Well, the rumours were right about Echo, as it's a complete dumpster fire of a series. My insider said Echo was who wrote this? Matt McGloin, right, of course. Was horrendous, and other scoopers said the same, with an even claim that Kevin Feige deemed Echo unwatchable and demanded reshoots. Another female-led Marvel property that cannot survive on its own and needs reshoots and constant support from the shill media to be able to even become relevant for five freaking seconds. That's why it has also been said that Marvel decided to release all the episodes at once and they were 100% right as there is simply no way they could have released the series episodically. Echo suffers from poor writing, directing and editing. The show actually starts off decent enough with the first two episodes but the remaining three episodes are simply unwatchable. Yeah, well of course if they had released that in an episodic weekly format then nobody would have been watching by week three and the ratings would have been absolutely disastrous by releasing them all together at once even though it's going to mean that the show has less relevance for for less time it also allows them to fudge the numbers considerably because they can just do the numbers based on the entire show not any particular episode which of course is one of the great tricks that disney has been pulling for quite a long time now uh, as well as other pro uh, properties and platforms like netflix and amazon as well so there's that but anyway, if they paid attention to the story, directing and editing as much as they did the Indian stuff, the series might have been good. I live tweeted as I watched Echo, and again, the first episodes were decent, and compared to the remaining three episodes are done really well. They tie things nicely into Hawkeye, as it's been a while since that series, and bring you up to speed. That series was just as terrible. The first two episodes also give Echo an origin story and create necessary backstory, a hero's journey, of, a hero's journey, as Gary from Nerdronic would say, unlike what they did for Miss Marvel, where they simply handed Kamala Khan everything. However, following the first two episodes, the series takes a complete nosedive, starting with episode three. What happened during production, as the difference is quite jarring. Who knows, Matt? I mean, it could be a lot of things. It's Marvel. They very often spend all their money on the first few uh, episodes and then everything after that starts to suffer and then they just bring it back for the finale. Um, or it could just be the fact that this is obviously a gender-driven drivel and nobody actually gives a damn about it and so they just didn't care enough to actually bother trying to make it good. That, that's a valid argument as well. In any case, uh, the roller skate scene is simply atrocious and comes off cringeworthy and terrible. Maya needs someone to make her a new leg, but she can go all MacGyver and make some kind of gun because her ancestor used a gun or something. Garbage writing. What they should have done is skipped episode 3 and had Maya go and visit her grandma to explain her powers, but instead, when Maya's powers start to surface, the dummy that runs the counter kidnaps her. Hilarious. Oh god, I'm so glad I'm not watching this. Look, I will watch it if you really want me to, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to waste my time if there's really not much interest. Episode 4, absolutely nothing happens, and episode 5 is just utter garbage, a bit like She-Hulk there, that reminds me of my reviews of She-Hulk. Kingpin is made to look like a complete bitch, as Maya, Maya, whatever, uses her powers to give Kingpin a conscience to the point that he starts crying or some shit. Wow. <laughs> Matt doesn't give a crap about this review. Or how about the grandma and the friend kick all kinds of ass and share in Maya's powers might have been worse than Blue Beetle. What the f***? <laughs> it's a shame because Echo's a cool character. She's a complete badass brought up by Kingpin. However, they throw all that out the window so Maya can become an Indian superhero. It all felt so forced, and it didn't fit the character at all. I was actually hoping that Maya would have accepted the Kingpin's offer and become a Queen Pin. 
Queen Pin. No. Absolutely, absolutely fucking not. That would have been effing awesome if she became a badass street-level villain. Then she could have eventually built up her empire. Well, yeah, maybe. I mean, this is one of the things that's wrong with the MCU now, is that they don't have any balls. They don't have the balls to do the kinds of things they used to do, like, for example, having Civil War, which was tragic. Or having, for God's sakes, Infinity War, which ended with the death of... Well, I can't spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, but a lot of people. Let's just say that. Although I don't think there's many people left who haven't seen Infinity War. Really, only my dad. I need to get on with that. <laughs> there is like a half a dozen times she confronts Kingpin and then doesn't do jack squat as Kingpin cries to her about loving her or some shit. Why would the Kingpin... Oh. This is, this is D'Onofrio playing him as well, right? Oh my god, what are they doing? Then again, that cringe end scene where, where Kingpin is made to look like a big bitch. I would never have brought back Kingpin for this series and instead would have kept him in the shadows. I would have instead had Kingpin sending a badass assassin like Bullseye after Maya who nearly kills her, but she is reborn with her Indian powers. Yeah, okay. Then they had the Daredevil fight scene. There's a lot of extra cringe, 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 cringe. Yeah. Um, and final thoughts, 4 out of 10, there was a lot of potential here for Echo to be a cool new badass Marvel character, but for whatever reason things went south real fast. It seems it's more of the same, in that there is no, no one at Marvel who knows how to tell a good story. Boy, we sure are missing Jon Favreau, Joss Whedon, and Joe, and Anthony Russo, and James Gunn. Yeah, yeah, Marvel's not been the same since they started forcing women into the director's chairs, has it? No, not at all. Well, um, I don't know, I... I still don't have anything to say about this show, except that it sounds utterly terrible. I haven't seen it. I don't know if I'll bother. Let me know in the comments section if you want me to watch it and review it for you. And I guess I'll consider that. Um, because I guess I need something to watch while we're waiting for more Doctor Who. But uh, let me know absolutely any other opinion you might have in the comments section down below, of course. And don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. And subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like to see more of me, because I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very soon then. But until then, question everything, and I'll see you next time.